Perfect Browse is an unbelievable way to browse through and find images that you want to get ready to edit. It's a perfect front end before you go into programs like Enhance, Effects, and Portrait. On the left hand side of your screen, you'll see a folders pane on top of an albums pane. These are the two most important ways to access images on your computer or on hard drives that you have plugged in. Right up at the top, there's something called your favorites and watched folders. These are folders of images that you know you access on a regular basis or ones that you might be working with pretty regularly that you can drag and drop over there. Underneath are your local drives as well as your external hard drives that you might have plugged into your computer. I have a couple different local drives here and you can navigate to places like your desktop and your pictures folder through here. And underneath is your cloud storage. If you use programs like Dropbox, Google Drive, or OneDrive, you can actually access those images very quickly just by logging in that information. You can also create albums here inside Browse Now, and this is one of my favorite new functions. You can create both regular albums where you manually apply, as well as smart albums that pull from your favorites and watched folders. You can create a smart album of all of your five-star images, and then you can use that as a slideshow for your portfolio. Below albums is going to be your filters section. This is a way for you to filter through and find images that you might be looking for. If I turn this filter pane on and I say that I'm looking for images that have a red color tag, it will only show the images with that red tag inside of the folder I'm looking at. You can turn it off just by clicking it one more time. And then last is the recent pane. This is all of the recent images that you might have opened through Browse. And if you click on that photo, it will automatically jump to that image in whatever folder it's in. On the right hand side of the screen, you'll see the navigator and your info pane, which has all the information for your basic image, as well as the ability to add and adjust your metadata. And all of the advanced metadata below, you can show and find out information like exposure, ISO, and the model and lens that you were using when you shot this image. When you're working on your images and browsing through different photos, you can take a closer look like I am right now. If you hover your mouse over your image, you'll get a magnifying glass. And if you click once, it'll zoom into your photo and you can take a closer look at some of the areas in that photo. To zoom out again, just click one more time. When you're in a single photo view like I am right now, by hitting the G key on your keyboard, it'll jump back to your library view and you can view all of your images all at once. When you're finally ready to edit a photo and you find an image that you're looking for, all you need to do is select that image, go to the right hand side of your screen, you'll see that there is a panel where you can select which program you'd like to go into. I want to take this image into effect, so I'll go ahead and just click once. Select that I want to edit a copy of my original RAW file, and once those options are set and I click OK, I can go through and I can edit my image.